knock at your door and I'm serving like pizza I got the ice, Italian reach Bitch, I'm a family man like a pig These niggas be short stops, they're a GT Knock a nigga out like I'm Vegeta I can't <laughs> Excuse me Jesus Christ We didn't see you come in Welcome back to another Rod 2 Tough reaction video And today we are reacting to Scientists reveal most attractive traits in men Now let's see how attractive I am You know what I'm saying Let's see how attractive you are You know what I'm saying Well I'm not going to be able to see that Because you know I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm, I'm straight You know what I'm saying I'm as straight as I'm as straight as a freaking pencil, you know what I'm saying? I'm as straight as a straw. Not a silly straw. And I know I know that's what some of y'all were saying. Silly straw. No, 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 no. A regular straw. But I mean, hey, let's see how let's see how hot I am, you know what I'm saying? Cause I cause cause I, I need some gems. I need some I need some new gems in my phone, you know what I'm saying? I need some new girls, you know what I'm saying? So ladies, you see this, hit me up. But hey look, before after this video, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for post notifications. Get notified when I post them, you know what I'm saying? Follow my IG, Snapchat, and intro and outro. Follow my IG down below in the description. It's there along with this original video, you know what I'm saying? So go show the infographics, show some love. But look, I need it more, I need more, I need more. Y'all already know I'm rocking, man. I'm on the road to 10K. Help me get there, please. Help me, help me, please. You know what I'm saying? I need it. I need it. I need it. Man, look, with all that being said, let's hop to this video, shall we? Put it in a basket. Let's get it. Is he gonna go start? A man walks into a bar in a corner seat. A group of women quietly judge him. He's okay, not bad looking, but nothing special. Fast forward Hayden. a couple they of hours, and those same women that hadn't shown much interest in this guy are swooning over him. They hang on his every word, blush when he looks them in the eyes, and when they leave the bar, they think about him all night long. What's this guy's secret? What did he do that made him so attractive? This sounds Today, unrealistic. We'll reveal all, and perhaps you can also work on being more like him. First of all, what's up with looks? Are they really that important? Yes. Okay, so this is complicated. A group of young women in one study was asked this question, and they all came back with different answers. But the main theme was that they weren't all after that picture-perfect guy. In fact, many of them said focusing mainly on the body alone was shallow. This is what one oh, woman crap. said. I'm looking for the personality in the picture of their body, and I'm not getting that necessarily from someone that posts a picture of their washboard abs. While there might be a lot of guys out there that are obsessed with their bodies and post pictures of their post-workout muscles at every opportunity, most of the women said men's preoccupation with their bodies doesn't bode well for a long-term relationship. In fact, what the freak? What interviewing? I really love that dad bods are in. That's the perfect body. Guys who are having fun and a little bit of a tummy. A psychologist named what? Jeremy Nicholson wrote in Psychology Today that what women find most attractive is a man that shows some amount of self-care. He said that a guy who seems like he takes care of himself might show a woman that he's capable of taking care of her and any future children they might have. So it's not about being perfect. It's more about not being a slob. Men that... What the freak? No, no, who are they interviewing? Because don't make, this don't make no lick of sense. No, nah, no, nah, y'all see these women out here today. Y'all see these women out here and who they chasing? They they just describing everyday men, and everyday men don't have options of women. So that's a dang lie. But looks looks gotta grab a woman's attention first off. A woman not gonna not gonna just they're not gonna know your personality when they look at you. So they're not gonna approach you. You know what I'm saying? And women don't barely approach anyway. So, um, so, so they, but who are they interviewing? Who who are they talking to? Where are these women at? Look, they're not. They're not here. They're not here in the real world. You know what I'm saying? They're not. They're not outside. This don't make any sense. This don't make any sense. But because the women out here that we see out on a day to day basis, they care about looks, you in shape, and your pot in your wallet. They can't even see your wallet. But if you if you fake it, they gonna they gonna think you rich. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not telling you to fake it. I'm not telling you to do that. Just be who you are, and uh. Be confident in yourself. Be red pill. Don't be no beta cuck. And work out. Get your body right. You know what I'm saying? And uh, look dr dress decent. You know what I'm saying? They don't be got to be OC. But I mean, put on a nice little fit. Some, some. you know what I'm saying? Don't be walking around like a bum with pajamas on and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's basically it. Just do you. Be in fit. Be fit. Have a little bit of money. You I mean, you could you could get jumps and be broke. You don't need money to get jumps. It, but... But at the same time, they valued our materialistic stuff. But who cares about what they freaking think? Because they say one thing and mean the opposite. 
that really are obsessed with their bodies might give signs to a prospective partner that they care more about themselves than they ever will about her or future offspring. Sure, if the woman is a fitness fanatic, she might well want to date someone who's also a fitness fanatic. But in general, a man doesn't need a washboard stomach to attract women. Magazines and movies featuring perfect bodies breed insecurity, and insecurity is what companies want you to feel. There are some other things too, such as the majority of women are attracted to men that are taller than them too. That's not always the case, but studies have shown it's what most women want. Yeah, as for the face a lot of, of just man, want the tall dudes. will prefer a symmetrical face. This might seem weird, but according to science, symmetry of the facial features is a sign of healthy genes. One scientist wrote that symmetry suggests fewer genetic and environmental disturbances such as diseases, toxins, malnutrition, or genetic mutations. Women, on average, also tend to be more attracted to men who have a kind of V-shaped body rather than an egg shape. Shoulders that are quite large and a waist that doesn't bulge too much are things that might be attractive. But science also says women tend to focus less on this than men do. As we said, it's more about taking care of yourself than it is about Bruh, getting no. a perfect body. No, Studies women also say that a masculine no. face is more attractive to women on average. But that's not always the case. Research has shown that men with masculine faces often give off signs of dominance to women. Women say one thing, but they they do the opposite. You can't trust what they say when it comes to dating and men, because the they say says these types of men are also assumed they say things, but when you look at the exes and look at the people they've been with, they're the opposite of what they're talking about. Faces, you can't trust them. Tend to think have high prestige with their buddies. They don't know what they're talking about. Women might want to have a longer term relationship with these men due to their psychological attractiveness, intelligence, their ability to hold a conversation and build rapport. Sticking with the face, there's a lot you can do to be attractive. Studies have shown that women are less attracted to guys that look stressed out and don't get enough sleep or look ragged in general. Bags under the eyes are not the best thing to have for the reason that it could mean elevated stress hormones, which might relate to not having a great immune system. One psychologist in They don't think about that on a day to day basis. Women seem to be able to detect the men who've got the strongest immune response, and they seem to find them the most attractive. So again, taking care of yourself can be as good as being born with those chiseled features. As for the hair on your body, this seems to differ from country to country, but in general, women prefer men with not so much body hair. Some studies based in China, the US, and New Zealand seem to point to this. That not much hair on the chest and other parts of the trunk was the most attractive to women. Although women in Britain preferred some hair as opposed to no hair. In all, keeping that hair in check might be the way to go. In one study, a large number of women from Turkey and Slovakia were shown pictures of guys with either bald chests or hairy chests. The men's heads were not in the photos. The thing was, it was the same men in each photo. In one image, he had his chest hair, and in the other, he'd shaven it off. Quite incredibly, in both countries, only 20% of women liked the image of the man with a hairy chest. Still, different studies have revealed different results, which has made some scientists think there's more to this than meets the eye. Perhaps a hairy chest is fashionable during some periods in certain countries, or perhaps a woman's liking for hair or no hair is affected by her hormones at the time of her looking at the pictures. Then there's facial hair, which some studies have suggested okay. is attractive to women okay. if it's well-groomed. One Australian study it. found that men with full beards were designated by female participants as being mature, aggressive, and masculine. Men with only light beards were seen as being dominant, and guys with light stubble won out, being the most attractive to the women in the study. It might depend on where you live, too. In some countries, beards on men are less liked than smooth skin. This might just be cultural, but it could also be linked to evolution. Scientists say that a full beard could make women think of hidden ticks and parasites. In general, it seems you can't go wrong with a neat bit of stubble, although it should not be patchy. Okay, so to recap, you might have better luck with a woman who is a bit shorter than you. You don't need to be an Adonis, but your chances with women will be better if you at least groom yourself and get enough sleep. If you like your beard, fine, but in general, a bit of stubble is the way to go. As for that hair on your trunk, it seems a little is better than lots on average. You can't really change your facial features, but rest assured some women will go for feminine features and others will go for more masculine features. What's much more important is how you hold yourself, how you speak, what your body movements suggest, and how you come across in general. All these things you can work on. Okay, so let's imagine you've been using a dating site. One thing we should point out here is that an older man gets a larger dating pool compared to women of the same age. That's because more women are interested in older men than men are interested in older women. That's According facts. to the experts, many women see older men as more financially stable, more mature, and less prone to cheating. So better fathers for children they might have together. We can't really give you a perfect age gap though. All we can say is if you are, say, 35 and she is 25, 
there's absolutely no reason you can't have a successful relationship. And before you start thinking this is all about daddy issues, a study involving 173 women who were dating men 10 or more years older than them came to the conclusion that this wasn't the case. Many women just like older guys, something that has been called the George Clooney effect. Hmm. Evolutionary psychology hmm. research has George said that in Clooney. general, women will look for a man that's slightly older than her, but you shouldn't sweat it too much regarding the age gap. If it feels right for you and for her, and you're both adults, then go for it. Yeah. Countless studies have shown that age differences can be just fine. Still, research has said that the older male might have to show that not only is he responsible, financially secure, but he may have to have a fair amount of social charisma. This charisma is often noticeable when women see you interact with your buddies. It's actually very important, not only what you say to her, but what you say to them. There's a well-known study published in 2010 called Men's Sense of Humor and Women's Responses to Courtship Solicitations, an experimental field study. Basically, a scene was set up in which a guy was with two of his friends in a bar. The guys made themselves noticeable to a group of women who were sat nearby. What happened next was one guy told a joke and his friends laughed a lot. Notably, the jokes were not crude or sexual in nature. Later, the man who had told the joke asked one of the women for her phone number. The same scenario was repeated with other women except the guy that told the joke changed. The upshot was that the man who had told the joke had three times more of a chance of getting that phone number. Later, the person conducting the study asked the women about the men. They agreed that the joke teller seemed more attractive and more intelligent, showing that you can hold people's attention, showing that you understand the complexities of life through humor is definitely attractive. It also shows you might make her laugh one day or make her children laugh. But if you're funny, study, humor was you can tested again. This is what the researchers wrote in the conclusion. Consistent with the social transformation model of humor introduced in this article, individuals, particularly men, expressing humor were rated as more desirable than non-humorous individuals for a serious relationship and Hence marriage. Hence the data. Still, the study also said that men might have to be physically attractive. There's also might. You mean they have strangers. to be. Let's say you're on the first date with a the woman you have to because to you attract you know, might. What do you think it said to her if you're rude to the waitress? It shows her that this might be a personality trait of yours. Sure, if you show assertiveness and politely send back some food, it might be attractive to her, but being rude in general is a big turnoff. There's something called the halo effect. This means you might just become more physically attractive to someone because you showed an attractive personality trait. In one study called Is Kindness Physically Attractive? Women were showed pictures of men, except each picture came with a word that described the person's personality. Sometimes the word would be positive and sometimes it would be negative. The same pictures had been shown to participants before, except they were asked to rate the men without any information about their personality. What happened is if a person had a nice word under their photo, they were usually given a higher score for physical attractiveness than if they had no word at all or a negative word. Men were more handsome when they were deemed good guys. One of the researchers wrote, These findings indicate that human interior psychology BS. activity is That's related BS. to exterior physical I'm gonna talk about that at the end of the video, though. Human is the whole entity of psychology and physiology. If you think that's a mouthful, it just means you might look more handsome if she likes the way you are. There was another interesting study related to this in which students on a six-week summer archaeology course were asked to rate the physical attractiveness of each other on the first day of class. They then did the same on the last day, and the scores were dramatically different. One of the researchers said, among people who actually know and interact with each other, the perception of physical attractiveness is largely based on traits that cannot be detected from physical appearance alone. No doubt, a lot of you have already experienced this because you've likely met someone who at first you didn't seem to think was very attractive at all. But as time went on, you just started to reassess this and tell your friends, actually, this person's really good looking, and you just didn't see it at first. Never underestimate personality. A super handsome bully with no sense of humor and little intelligence might be able to get a one-night stand every now and again, but they will definitely not be top of the list when it comes to long-term relationships. Then you probably all heard about women who like guys that take risks, maybe guys that act a little rebellious. This is true to some extent, but not if the guy is totally out of control. Researchers yeah, okay. have said that men who take hunter-gatherer risks can come across as being attractive. In one study, women were asked to rate guys on their behavior. They didn't know that some of the guys were linked to what researchers called modern risks and others hunter-gatherer risks. The former was risk-taking related to cheating or driving without a seatbelt, and the latter was more about doing extreme sports or going alone into a vast forest. The researchers wrote in their conclusion, results confirmed that modern risks were rated as unattractive for both sexes, whereas hunter-gatherer risks were rated it as especially attractive when they say that males. but when you look at their exes they go for the people that take the modern risk you already know that 
just have a brain and don't do something just take that might their badly. They don't know what they're talking about. Isn't attractive regarding long-term partners. They do the opposite of what they say. Preferred in some studies by women. Again, likely related to risk-taking and our past as hunter-gatherers. In one study, photos of men were shown to women, and then the same photos were shown to other women, except a facial scar had been photoshopped onto the face. With the scar, men were ranked higher for short-term relationships, but not long-term relationships. Maybe women don't mind having a fling with a rough-and-tumble kind of man. Let's face it, if you're ever going to become a father, the woman you're with will want you to be a loving father, someone who puts his family before anything else. Various studies have shown that certain things you do in life can point to you being a caring kind of person who has nurturing qualities. One of them, no kidding, is just walking dogs or being especially playful and affectionate with them. So you meet a girl in the park while playing around with a dog that evidently loves you more than anything. You then went out on a date and made her laugh while being very friendly and courteous to the waiting staff. Then you dropped the bombshell. You do volunteer work at a local orphanage. Another study we found was titled Selflessness is Sexy. Reported helping behaviors increased desirability of men and women as long-term sexual partners. It revealed that altruistic behavior makes a person attractive because we've just evolved to think that the helpers of this world will be better partners and better parents. These people might also be seen as having better genes since they have the strength to make some sacrifices for others. As the scientists wrote, selflessly helping people gives you fitness lady. points. In this study, the researchers gave photos of people to others and That's asked who them like to nice guys, Older girl, There was older Daniel, women. who below one photo was said to work in recruitment. Like when you young, nice guys finish last. Watch a lot of TV. The next photo of him said the same, except the TV was changed to working for free in a school for disruptive kids. He was always ranked as more attractive when he worked with kids. It was the same for other photos. Whenever they volunteered or donated or sacrificed in another kind of way, they got a higher physical attractiveness score. But please, guys, don't go volunteering at the local dog pound just so you can put it in your dating profile. Yeah. You have to mean it, of course. Otherwise, the truth will come out sooner or later. No, it won't. As for those photos <laughs> no, you won't. Those websites you tell or apps, what you're doing means a lot. Various studies have proven that men who posted photos of themselves next to expensive cars or outside wonderful homes were liked more. Of the course. Very same men because women like materialistic stuff. They had Money, became less cars, big houses, vacations. A leaning against a Ferrari that isn't yours is only going to get you the swipe. Real life will have to get in on the act at some point, and if the woman really is looking for some rich dude and you're not him, then what a waste of time that's been for everyone. Take a nice photo by all means, but keep it real. Intelligence in some studies was seen as more important than just about every other trait, at least for 10% of women. Liars lying against the luxury villas don't exactly come across as deep thinkers. Studies have shown that men who can write music, write books, understand complex science, are very attractive to many women. Women don't care about that. So they don't care about understanding science. So come on now. You might not win any prizes for your looks, but if you know you can be funny at times or you can impress people with your knowledge of 17th century European architecture, some of you might not have much cash, but oh, what? you might have courage and determination and the will to work hard. And at the same time, you might devote much of your time to helping others. Or maybe you don't care much about material wealth, but you have a daring do spirit which suggests you'll have amazing adventures with your partner. Don't focus only on looks or body or material things. You are no doubt attractive in your own way to someone out there. Now, you need to watch what exactly is an orgasm, or have a look at Does Size Matter? Why Size Differs by Species. That's in that video. This video was, they had some facts in there, of course, some things I could get behind, you know what I'm saying? Like, for example, women like materialistic things, because they do. And, uh, so something else, I forgot what they said. I forgot that fast. And I just finished the video three seconds ago, but, but uh, a lot of this video was BS. They asked women what they thought, and of course, women going to say that, but they really do the opposite. You cannot trust a woman, a woman's opinion on what she on on what about dating, or what what women uh, think about dating, who they go after, because as men, we see that we see what they do. They say, wait, they say, oh, we like the nice guy. We like dudes that, that, uh, we like guys that, uh, open a door, do all that mess. And, uh, I mean, not mess. I mean, of course, I would do that for a girl that's worth it, but there's very little of them out there, sadly. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays. But look, they be talking about some, I want a guy to open doors. I want a nice guy. I want a guy that's on his, uh, as good as school and all that stuff. But, but really, who do they be after? Look at the exes. Look at all the people they've been with. Opposite. They, they, they in they in they they in the street, you know what I'm saying? They not they mediocre at school at best, you know what I'm saying? 
they might be a good athlete, but it, but it's bad in the classroom and uh, but it's but does but acts up in the classroom, or whatever you know, what I'm saying. And other girls are like just big athletes, popular people in the school, popular people in, at college, university, because that's all that's all I've experienced. You know, what I'm saying school, high school, elementary school, middle school, and college. That's all the girls I experienced. You know, what I'm saying, but they like dudes at the top athletes. You know, what I'm saying, and uh. And the bad dudes is out here not doing not doing good in school out there on the streets and stuff. And the nice dudes, like the majority of us are, we don't get nothing. We don't get nothing. We don't get no girls look our way. And when they do, it's all oh he's oh he's just a friend. Oh, he's my friend. He's a good friend. But do you but but you want her to be more than friends with you, you know what I'm saying? But she can't she don't see it in her your uh, her eyes. Unless you get all big and freaking famous, powerful, all this money, cars, you know what I'm saying? Vacations, you know what I'm saying? If she see that, then she'll be like, oh, wait a minute. He's actually kind of cute. Uh, let me hit him up. Jones are materialistic, and they, and they do the opposite of what they say. That's what you take away from this video. This video right here was made for beta cucks that, uh, to make them comfortable about what they're doing and how, how they are right now instead of improving themselves and uh, being the best they could be in life. To get women. I mean, of course, you're not doing it solely to get women, but that's a part of it. You know what I'm saying? But hey, look, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. <sighs> Ding! Hit that bell for post notifications. Get notified and I post them. You know what I'm saying? Follow my IG, Snapchat, and intro and outro. Follow my IG down below in the description. It's there along with this original video. You know what I'm saying? So go show the infographic. Show some love. Look, I need it more, I need more, I need more. You already know I'm rocking, man. I'm rolling to 10K. Help me get there. Please help me, please. And, hey, man. Also got a Twitch down below, so get active and get on that jank when I uh, start streaming. Let's get Duffy. But look, with all that being said, I am. <laughs> Go.